Well, to be honest, I vividly remember the first time we actually had a computer lab at my grade school. Mm -hmm. We had 15 Apple IIe's, and that kind of dates me a little bit, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. We would pair up to learn how to use them. And to be honest, it was just for typing. That's all they were good for, right? Yep. So I was much more interested in music and than I ever was in technical capabilities. But mm -hmm. many moons later, my son actually introduced me to cybersecurity. Hmm. And when he was the commander of his cyber patriot unit oh. in high school, um, the, all the boys would bring over their laptops and desktop computers over to our house. And they created their mini cyber cave um, oh. where they would create their own cyber command unit and wow. they would complete all their missions. Mm -hmm. So looking back, to be honest, it was the human interaction from pairing together with the Apple IIe's to the, the kids learning what cybersecurity was in high school, but it was a human interaction that intrigued yeah, um, me the most. Yeah. Can um, can you talk a little bit about uh, just the maybe the conversations you had with with your son about like what he was doing and, and sort of getting a feel? Were you looking over his shoulder or are you like, hey, what is that? Do you think I could do that? Or, you know, because, you know, that, there's just as many people that could have looked at that and said, oh, that's no business of mine or whatever. But uh, the fact that it like it hooked you, I'm just curious what the what the hook point was. As an avid learner, I constantly would ask questions and I would ask the kids and um, see if they could direct me to how, you know, kind of educate me on the, what the, you know, the capture the flag game really was that they were trying to achieve right. and how it how it interacted and how they were protect protecting from the threat actors. And so I, I, you know, I always asked questions and that was what intrigued me to see how they would interact together and work together. And understand that it wasn't, you know, just the scary guy behind the computer. There were human beings on the good side of the computers and mm -hmm. that needed to do the other other aspects of computer technology, cybersecurity aspects of it. So what was what was the next step after this? Did you did you start trying CTFs for yourself? Did you start looking into sort of computer fundamentals? Uh, how, how did it progress from this initial uh, seedling? No, actually, my son actually um, questioned the fact that how did I get into cybersecurity? Mm -hmm. uh, we were at a networking event and um, because of my my education background, I have a master's mm -hmm. degree in education. The company actually uh, wanted to expand their services into the into America. Mm -hmm. They were a Canadian cybersecurity company and they had found you know me on, on LinkedIn and understood that with my education background, I could help them develop their cybersecurity awareness campaigns and educate people moving forward on the importance of cybersecurity. And my son and his team actually joked, they're like, how did you get the job in cybersecurity? How come they didn't ask us, right? right. And so that's when I kind of did my micro mini um, ma master's degree in cybersecurity at that stage, because as he said, you didn't even know how to say the word cybersecurity, mom, let alone know what it was. So uh -huh. I had to educate myself before I could educate others. Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.